Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. A very important topic that we're going to discuss today. I've gotten some emails from folks that have been watching and some folks in need, and we're going to talk about the growing need in the shelter, what you can do to help, and what the Salvation Army is doing. We're talking to Melissa Sorensen and Kate, Caitlin Novotny with Salvation Army of Dane County. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, the shelters um, really can get a little bit overcrowded. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of need. And I want to share with viewers at home sort of what a given night looks like for our shelters and how many people you're seeing coming in. And on the flip side, how many you're turning away. Mm -hmm. um, so we operate both um, emergency family shelter and women's shelter. And on any given night, we have 22 families staying there and about 45 women. Um, we are turning around, ab away about 10 families a night at this point. Yeah, that's tough to hear and, and can be really tough. And sometimes we don't connect with that because we don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. You guys really are there seeing it on the daily basis. And that's the point of the Salvation Army is really to help to solve this problem. So what are you doing to do to solve just this issue that we're seeing? Yeah, so we are um, also working on permanent housing programs, um, solutions as well, as, as well as the emergency shelter piece, also working on the housing piece. Um, and so we have started a, a, a rapid rehousing program called the Dawn's Program. And so far this year, we have ho permanently housed 69 families, about 280 people. Um, and the success rate of that program has been 96% this year. Wow. Um, and we also are working on new and innovative ideas to try to serve the population because um, not everybody needs the emergency shelter. So we're also working on a diversion program. Um, and so every new family that's calling into shelter, we are connecting with the case manager and working with them. And so far, since the beginning of this year, we have been able to divert 72% uh, of the families calling in, um, so helping them stay in safe environments and working with case management and hopefully not having to enter the shelter system but able to move from where they're currently staying into permanent housing. Well, congratulations and thank you for your work on that. It's very yeah. important work. Um, while you are able to place so many families, a growing number of families, mm -hmm. in permanent solutions and temporary solutions, there's still a need for folks to help because, as we mentioned in the, in the front, there's some overpopulation issues. So, Caitlin, let's talk a little bit about how viewers at home can help in times like these. Well, there are so many ways to get involved. Um, especially when the Salvation Army has been called to serve and respond to the disasters that we've seen in Sun Prairie and in Western Dane County. So there are opportunities to be an emergency disaster services volunteer, or there are ways to get involved on the more fun side of things, and that's like attending our events, like the upcoming Red Kettle Reception or bell ringing. I mean, it's a simple, easy way to get involved, and those are all extremely important to keep us doing what we're doing. Yeah, we're talking mostly today about the shelters and the needs there, but to your point, there's so many things that the, Red, that the Salvation Army uh, gets called upon, and the Red Kettle Reception event is coming up, so I want to talk a little more about that. Oh yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, the Red Kettle Reception is coming up on Thursday, November 1st, and this year we'll be having it at the Overture Center, and it will be in the format of dueling pianos. Oh, so cool. we've never done that before. It's going to be new and fun, and there's a silent auction, hors d'oeuvres, drinks. It's generally just a classy night on the town, but for a good cause, and there are so many ways to be a part of that. So a great fun event going to such an important cause. Another thing that people know the Salvation Army for, of course, as we get into the holidays, is bell ringing. And let's discuss the importance of that. If somebody might be interested, why is that so meaningful for you? Oh, yeah. Um, bell ringing is the bread and butter of what we do at the Salvation Army. Um, it's the easiest way to get everyone in the community involved. Simply ringing a bell for two hours of your time can bring in about $100. And in turn, that $100 can be used immediately for whichever people or programs are most in need at the time. It's the most responsive form of donation, I would say. So for example, um, in the wake of a disaster, that $100 can be used to refill our canteen with cleanup kits, meals, blankets, like the kettle can do that. 
Or if a mother of three walks into the shelter in need of meals and a bed for the night, the kettle can do that too. And the bell ringing is super essential to that. Thank you for sharing some of these statistics and what donations can do. Um, if you can help at home, I encourage you to get in touch with these folks at the Salvation Army. Either donate your time, donate some money. Thank you for being here and sharing that with us today. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town next.